Hello everybody, this is Jason Williams, Charm City PT. And today it's back Pilates classes for golfers. So if you're not a golfer, don't worry. This, you can also use these exercises for any sport or uh, exercise class that you do. Um, it's gonna focus on mobility, stability, and uh, building some hip strength. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So come on down to a seated position. You don't need anything for this class, just you and your mat. And we start some simple twists, left and right. Just to kind of warm up the back and spine. Now, if you can't sit cross-legged, you can straighten out the legs too here as well. And just do twists side to side here, or do these in a chair, right? Um, again, you don't have to do everything on the mat, depending on how tight your hips are, your back, but nice, simple stretches here. Just to warm up the back and spine before we do those rotational movements, okay? So give me two more. Good, one more. Nice. And then a nice easy side to side stretch, reach and reach. So really get into this rib cage here. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breath is very important when you're stretching and moving, right? So not enough focus on your breath and how you're breathing, right? Good, we got three. Good, two. One. And relax. Okay, good. So I'm going to bring my left leg out here. I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Right leg in. So it's kind of like a half saw. So I'm going to reach my right hand down across to my shin or my ankle or even his knee, depending on how your flexibility is. And then give yourself a little pull. And then come back up, twist back around this way. So a little side to side movement here, twist. Feel your hamstring, lower back here. And then twist here in the upper body. Your spine here, your shoulders, and then back across. So ideally, work through your range of motion. Hopefully, this will get better the more you do these. So I would do this workout maybe two times a week. You know, give yourself a day or two rest in between. So it's a nice uh, cross training workout for not just golf but any sport that you do. Do the two more. Nice. One more. And then we'll just switch legs, okay? So right leg here, left leg in. Same thing, reach down across, give yourself a pull, right? Maybe grab at the foot or the knee, and then back around, twist. And then back around, reach. And then come back around, twist. So again, get that nice stretch through the back, the spine. Feels good. Nice, breathe, exhale here. Inhale, come up, rotate, good. Two more. Good, one more. So all these exercises do maybe eight to 10 repetitions. And one last twist here. And relax, okay, good. So now I'm gonna bring both my feet out here. So again, the wider the legs, the more stretch you're gonna get, okay? So I'll bring my hands behind the head. I wanna bring my left elbow outside my left knee or thigh. Right, and then I'm gonna come back up and then I'm gonna switch. And then switch, okay? So this is a nice mid-back, lower back stretch, wrapping around to the hamstrings, right here, and back. So again, just getting warmed up, focus on flexibility. Nice, exhale here. Again, if you can't touch outside the mat or the knee, maybe you just go to here, okay? And then here, that's okay, right? Get warm, ease into it, warm up into it. Take your time. Don't push through it, right? So go nice and easy through this exercise. Good, two more. Good, one more, and then we'll go to the full saw. Okay, so now I'm gonna reach my left hand outside, get my knee, shin, or foot. Maybe look back, and then reach across. And then reach across, right? Good, inhale. Exhale, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. So now we're getting that stretch, hamstrings, lower back. Feels good. I tell you, this is going to help your golf game so much with that rotational work. Nice. Last one. Good. 
And then let's go ahead and do a mermaid stretch here. So I'm gonna come back to here. If you're tight in your hips, go here, right knee in, left leg be long. Otherwise your mermaid's gonna come back this way with this back leg, left leg, right here. So my hands are gonna start behind my head and I'm just gonna go a little forward fold here, right? So here's my hip and glute stretch on this right side and I'm gonna come back up and then back down. So your range of motion here, okay? So if this is it, this is it, maybe come back up. Again, if you can't pull this knee back, your extra tight, you can still do this exercise here, right? And you'll still feel a little stretch in here and then this hip glute, right? So modify as you need, okay? Good, I'm gonna come back to here. I got two or three more. Good, yeah, feel that stretch? Mm-hmm. And then come right back up, side to side. And then reach. Oh yeah, so now you're feeling that rib cage here, feeling the hips here. Good, if this is tight, maybe you're just going here to here, right? Side to side, come down to the forearm, reach, hand down, reach, right? Good, do you, the idea is for this to get a little bit easier, loosen up a little bit, if you stay consistent with this workout, about three or four weeks, you should see improvements in your flexibility, right? But two more. Uh, one more. And then switch legs. Good. So left leg comes around. Same setup. Same modifications as before. Hands behind the head. Forward fold. Feel this hip glute stretch. Right back up. Right back down. Looks good. There's your hip there. You got three. Again, eight to ten of these. We're going to keep it short today. Just so you can always pause this video. Do your reps, do your exercises, and then come back, right? Last one, let's do one more. Good, and then side to side, reach. Again, always option, that maybe one side is different, maybe this side you need to stretch this leg out, right? And then come back, right? So again, don't worry if one side is a little bit different than the other. Again, modify as you need to, breathe, exhale. There you go, come on. Awesome, two more. Oh yeah, good stretch. Last one. Uh-huh. And relax. Okay, let's go to our backs now for bridges. Okay. So here, I'm gonna start with my hands down to the sides. I'm gonna lift my hips to my bridge, press it through my heels, right? It's gonna hit my glutes. Back down. Again, eight to ten of these. And you'll feel the back of the legs. Your hip flexors will stretch here at the top. Looks good. All right, so after you do eight to 10 of those, okay, drop the hips down, maybe goal post arms here. So bring my elbows back, now bridge up and down. So now I'm feeling a stretch of my shoulders. If this is too much, you don't have that flexibility to get the hands down. So maybe you just go here, all right? And bring your hands a little bit wider and then drop the hips up and down, okay? Good. Or you can bring your hands back overhead a little bit to get a little stretch. So you get also a little stretch to your lats, shoulders. Two more. And then relax it all down. Okay, good. Maybe you want to pull the knees into the, to the chest, a little counter stretch. And then I'm going to take my right foot over left, figure four. Then I'm going to bridge up and down. So now I feel my right hip stretch here at the top. And I'm going to be still working single legs in my left glute, upper hamstring. Good, same thing, hands down here, breathe. Again, maybe eight reps here. Again, build into it, right? You can add more reps, maybe I'm going to be higher than 12, and then relax. So maybe the first round through, you just do maybe eight, okay? So I switch it left to the right, make sure I try to square that knee, lift those hips up, back down. One of my favorite bridges, right? You get a nice hip stretch, you kind of do a lot of different things here, working through this right glute. Breathe. Do it. Two more. Good. One more. And relax it down. Good. I'm going to start here. Knees bent. Right leg comes up. Leg circles. Okay. Now, we're going to get some mobility of the hip on this right side. Try to keep this knee square so you shouldn't fall outside. Keep it here as you do your circles. Again, circles do not have to be big. Okay. Just gain that hip mobility. 
it, once you get really good, you can strip out the lead and then there's a little more core work here, right? And then get less of that hip rotation through. One more, and then you reverse the circle opposite way. So you're going dab out and around. Good, simple leg circles, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, good, two, last one, and then bring it down, left side up, circle it out. Good, looks good. So again, keep rotating through. Again, knee lines up with the hip, okay? Again, if you have the option, if you want a little bit harder or challenging, take this right leg down. But again, if you start to rotate over, bring it back, maybe bend the knee a little bit here. Good. So maybe five or six in each direction, okay? Very circle, then reverse, opposite way. Looks good, nice. Three, good, two, one, and then maybe pull both knees back in, come up to the side here, okay? So, here I'm gonna come to my elbow. So make sure elbow, shoulder line up, top hand comes behind the head. And I'm just gonna rotate, pull my elbow to my hand, rotate, and reach back. So now we get to some rotational work, right? With that upper body. My knees are up here, okay? So that's gonna keep me stable through my hips. And this is a great stretch for that back. Good, we got four. Good, three. Nice, two. And now let's do a clam motion. So I'm gonna hold here, open my knee up and down. So we'll do a few of these, okay? And again, you might be tight, that's okay. Work through it, because this will get better. This will strengthen your glutes and your hips here, right? Again, maybe 10 reps. You might feel a burn early, right? So now I'm gonna add a combo to that, okay? So this time when my elbow goes down, I'm gonna lift my knee up here. So here's the stretch, big stretch from my back, bring everything back to center, right? And then bring it back. Ooh, yeah. So again, we're getting hip, we're getting back. A little shoulder here at the top as we stretch back. Looks good. Two more. Good. One more. Nice. And relax it down. Again, eight to ten of those. Switch sides. Here we go. Okay, hands on the head. Start with just that rotation now. Elbow, shoulder line up on this side. Right? Reach back. Open it up. Again, working through your range of motion. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Nice. Again, some of these pick your favorite exercises, right? So if some of these feel really good, you know you're extra tight, maybe you stick with a few more of these, right? Or we could do more sets. And then let's add that clam here and here, right? Open up to that hip. Good, you guys bring your hand down, your shoulder's getting tired there, right? So again, maybe eight to 10 reps here, 12 max. And then we'll add the top part, so that combo. So the knee lifts as the elbow goes down, bring it on back. Nice. So there's that twist, right? It feels good, again. Hip, back, shoulder, a little trunk rotation. This is my, again, another one of my favorite stretches to do. I do this with a lot of my clients, athletes. Two more. Good, one more. And relax, okay, good. Okay, so that's our side series. I'm gonna grab these knee pads. So this part, kneeling, okay? So I'm gonna show you a little bit of an angle here just because my knees are a little bit tender. So I'm gonna come here to the kneeling position. So here I'm gonna do my YTAs. Thumbs up here, hands here, and then come back, and I'm gonna pinch my, it's almost like arm circles, but here's my Y shape. T, pull all the way back, and here's your A here. So Y, so this is great for your shoulders, your neck, and then pull back. Good, chin up, chest up. Work on your posture a little bit, right? Good, Y, T, and pinch the shoulders back for that A. Good, so you can do these standing as well, you don't have to be kneeling, but I'm just showing you for this workout, 
and how we transition to the next exercise. Okay, one more. Good. So now, we'll roll out the shoulders a little bit. You might feel that. You should feel pretty good. So hands come behind the head. I'm going to sit back a little bit and then twist and twist. Nice, easy side to side. So I'm not having too much of a lean forward. A little more upward, kind of like that golfing position, right? So you can even kind of line it up here to here, right? So that's how you would do it. Keep everything here, twist, elbows to the side, okay? Yeah, two more. So you're getting a little core work, your glutes are stabilizing you, right? And then relax, okay? Step your left foot through, okay? So now, so here's a hip flexor stretch. Maybe shift the weight forward. You can hold this here if this feels good, okay? Because we'll get to a rotational movement here. Take a deep breath, okay? And then hands out to the front, and you're gonna twist across the left knee and back to center. Twist across this front leg, back to center, okay? Good, so now you're feeling that twist, your hip work, work into that trunk, right? Keep the chin up. Nice. So again, work your range of motion, right? If you need to bring this leg back, bring it back, and that might make you feel more stable here as you twist. Again, 10 reps, and then we'll switch legs, okay? So then the left foot comes here, right foot through, same thing, nice little hip flexor stretch, maybe this feels good to start, and then you do your twist here and here, right? Yeah, so right across the knee, Ooh, man, I feel that back twist a little bit. Got a little crack in my back here. Yeah, here you go. You got three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so next one, kind of sticking with the kneeling position. Okay, so my right leg's gonna come here, left leg extends out, okay? So now what I'm gonna do here, kind of the same thing, hands here, twist, across, and across. Good. So now, don't force it, but you're, you're working through that trunk. You're gonna feel your hip stretch here on this side. So when you go this way, it'll be harder here when you're away from that leg, and then back around. Again, this is kind of just a pre-prep. Good. Two more. Good. One more. And then bring your hands here. You can sit back to the heel. Feel your inner thighs and hips here, right? This might be enough, right? You don't have to go forearms if you want. If you want a little deeper stretch, exhale. And now I'm gonna come up to my hand, left hand reaches up, so the inside hand, left leg, left hand, and then reach through, back up, and then back through. Good. So feeling the hips, feeling getting that rotation. Looks good. Two more. Good, one more. Nice, and then the switch legs, okay? All right, so left leg here, kick this leg out, come up, all right? I'll do that twist across. So again, do you, nice and easy, be controlled, right? Again, one side might be tighter, maybe you shorten your stance a little bit, maybe you just stay here, or maybe you just twist through here and here. Maybe it's too much in the shoulders here, all right? All right? So you got three, two, and then sit back. Here's that inner thigh hip right through here. Okay, maybe you stay up here, this is enough. Or you come to the forearms, all right? Feel that inner thigh hip. Then you shift the weight forward. So again, play around with the stretches a little bit. Find what's comfortable for you, and then you get maybe stay into that. And then you can sing it to it once you warm up a little bit more into it and get a little bit deeper into that stretch, okay? So come up to the hands, right hand's gonna reach up and then twist. Underneath, right? Back up. Good. So make sure this hands to the front here. Good. Nice work. Feels good. Awesome. So you got three, two, Last one, and relax, good, good. All right, so those are our Pilates mat rotational twists for golfers. 
some mobility work, some hip work. So again, a lot of this stuff, we can add on, take away. Maybe you like certain ones that feel good in your body. So maybe stick to those for your warm up, right? But also go through this workout two to three times a week. So maybe the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you can add on to another workout that you do. Uh, maybe as your warm up or cool down. Um, so enjoy it, let me know what you think. And have a great day.